Ladies and gentlemen, your guy is back with another episode. Today I want to focus on farming because technically the food situation isn't completely resolved. We do have a small farm right over here, but uh, it's not very good. So today I want to focus on improving it. Also, off camera I found something truly interesting in the ocean that we're going to check out right after I'm done harvesting and expanding the sugarcane farm we got here. 35 sugarcane, not bad. You! What are you doing? Get out of here. Goodbye. Anyways, in back of the house here, there's a shipwreck. And I was just going out to get food when I saw it, but I didn't take any of the chests, so we're gonna see what's in there. Hopefully, some obsidian. Hopefully I can actually find the treasure chest this time. Holy crap, we don't have any food. That's not good. Alright, back to the house it is. We'll head back. Alright, as I was saying, we're going out to sea today. We're gonna go out and see that shipwreck. It should be right around here. And there we are. Look at that beauty. Hopefully it has what I want. Treasure? No, this is the supply chest, but we got loads of good food for the episode. Look at that, and suspicious steel. I'm gonna take that, and then, holy crap, we're out of air. Alright, back up, back up, back up, go up, go up, yes. Alright. We're safe, we're safe. Time to go back down and grab the chest itself. I don't see another chest around here. Uh... If that's the supply chest, I don't know where the other one's at. I'm hoping to get to the nether in the next episode. That's why I'm releasing it on episode 3. So, we're also going to have to dedicate this episode to finding a shipwreck. But don't worry. I think I've already got a fancy schmancy new boat that we can craft. Yeah, very nice. This here is a jungle boat. And, uh, it's one of the more valuable boats in this data pack, because jungles don't generate very commonly. Alright, so we have TNT, lots of good food right here. This'll be useful. I think I'm gonna plant it, like, right on the shore, right here. And now what I'm thinking for the farming area, we're gonna terraform this slightly. And then we're gonna have, like, it'll be a little bit of a drop, but it'll really be the best we can do. We're gonna flatten it out so that way we can have crops growing. Make, maybe out to here, and then build a wall around here. It'll, it'll make sense when I'm, when I actually do it. But we're gonna need some cobblestone, so I think it's gonna be off to the mines for us. You know what couldn't hurt? We got bones earlier, so we'll craft those into bone meal. And start bone mealing. Oh wait, that, was, that wasn't ready to harvest. Big oof. Now we have 15 potatoes, but we can make these better. I'm gonna throw these boys in a furnace. Watch them smelt. We're also gonna put away the TNT. I don't plan on using that till much later. Yes, the ocean is looking quite fine. Also, that's a warm ocean over there, do you know? The islands, the birch islands, do generate near warm oceans. So that could mean there's an island over there in that direction. Very interesting, but it's not always a guarantee. Also gotta craft myself a new shovel. And I'll totally make it out of iron, but there's only so much of that. So I'm trying to preserve it. Now let's go see how the wheat farm is doing. It's not doing too bad. Hopefully this won't be a thing by the end of this episode, but now I want to head off. We're gonna go find some stone. Ah, the pick broke. Dang it. When I was making this data pack, I was originally going to change the, the loot tables for zombies and skeletons, but then decided not to, because it could lead to a block farm, if you like, how to, even with like a simple spawner XP farm. You could literally farm blocks, because I took a lot of, I made a lot of blocks rare in this data pack. I literally had to cram a whole bunch of them, like especially the ones from the nether, into a into a pre-existing loot table. It was insane, to say the least. 
And hopefully it's not too underpowered. We will definitely have to go around venturing around the world. My baked potatoes are done. Or at least some of them. And we have a lot of trees to replant because we do care about our environment. Also, where did this bow come from? I think the skeleton dropped it. I didn't notice that until now. Yes, the Lorax would be very proud right now. Still have 64 saplings to spare. Not bad at all. I'm going to start terraforming the land. You'll see what I meant earlier. So this is what we got right here. This is what I was thinking. Um, it's not, it's not the best thing, but I think it'll work. It does grow the crops, as you can see right here. So I'm gonna replant. But anyways, I was thinking this section right here would only be for one crop. I think that'll probably be either beetroot or potatoes. And I also I want to dedicate another section, probably this coastline right here, to another crop. That'll probably be carrots. And then we'll pretty much have all of our food or almost all of it, grow right near the ocean here. And I know this definitely would not work in real life, but this is Minecraft. We can do whatever the heck we want. I think the island would be really, really cool if we just had that going all around. It would look sick, and it would actually be kind of well protected too, because you can't climb these ledges here. They're way too steep. The only way onto the island would be through my house, or another way. And it looks like the slope isn't as steep over here as it was over there, so we might be able to bring it in a little more inland. Yeah, it's looking very nice. I love this view right here. Like, you know, I'm gonna crank up the render distance. This is probably gonna destroy my frame rate, but let's do this and see what is out there, what is out for us to explore. Yes, the big expanse of the world. It is upon us. We are looking at it. Yes, very nice. Mmm. Doesn't get more perfect than that. Uh, you can't see anything except the ocean, which is pretty realistic. Ooh! If I'm not mistaken, that over there is a shipwreck. And hopefully it's not the one we visited. We'll have to go check that out. The other one we visited was on its side, and that appears to be straight up. So, that is a new shipwreck, which means a possibility for obsidian. Very nice. Man, I love this view right here. I've said that a lot. I've said that like three times, I think. And it does look like the land is going up over there. It's taken forever to render. But I love looking at this. This is sick. It just really shows that we are a little lonely in this world. But, um... We do technically have our own private island right here, which is always nice. You'll love to see that. It appears there isn't really anything too important out there except a shipwreck. Now, where is that? Where is that thing? I can't see it. Aw. We'll find it. We'll find it. It was in that direction. We'll find it. Oh, we can't do that forever. We gotta we gotta keep on adventuring. We gotta keep on progressing. It's gonna be nice when we have a villager that'll just give us one emerald for one pickaxe. Even, like, that'll be probably... Hopefully, a couple of episodes, because I do not like crafting stone pickaxes over and over again. We're gonna have a pretty decent farm that'll definitely produce more than... I'll definitely produce stuff more, more than one emerald. Now, I've always wondered, before we actually go mining, is there actually another birch forest on the other side of this? Because if there is, that's gonna be very interesting. That's gonna open up a... No. Alright. My questions have been answered. Oh, wait. Is... Or is there? There could always be the possibility. You never really know. Look at this, this beach just keeps going and going. And there's a shipwreck! Yeah, alright. Hopefully the treasure chest isn't like six blocks under the ground. Hopefully we can actually find it. Yes, there is! Okay. 
This island is much bigger than I thought. I thought it ended, like, right over there. It was just ocean. But I guess not. That's always nice. Gosh dang, I can't even find... Oh. We can predict where it is, though. Yeah, look at that. See, look at me. I'm, I'm freaking awesome like that. We got some leather armor. Uh, kind of useless. Except maybe for the thorns. We'll, we'll see. Can disenchant that. Get some pumpkins, get more seeds. Look at all this. Another supply chest, though. We'll take the chest itself, but... I don't see a point in using anything else. Let's go look for more stuff. Because there could always be yet another shipwreck. They do gel generate relatively common. I kind of wanted to make the nether a semi-early game dimension in this. And there's another one. We will see. This island is much bigger than I thought. My gosh. This one also appears to be buried. So, wish me luck. Hopefully we can just predict where this chest is going to be. It's got to find, like, the hull of the ship. The best way to go about doing that would be to just, like, follow one of the masts. Okay, so yeah, it's in the, it's in the sandstone. Here we go. Holy crap, yeah, I forgot. Sand falls. Do we have torches? No, we don't. Alright. Mine that, mine this. Good. Somewhere right over here, maybe. Hopefully the sandstone didn't generate over it. You know, my question is, how does your how does your ship get submerged in rocks? That doesn't make any sense. But I guess that's just Minecraft for you. Like you must be very unfortunate if it did. I'm gonna save some time here. Here we are. Okay, we got a treasure map. We got some books. No obsidian, though. I was kind of hoping we'd get some obsidian. That that might have been the treasure chest. How do I get you without, like... Yeah. Okay. Good. Uh-huh. This is fine. Oh, crap. Oh, wait. It broke. Never mind. Okay. I thought we were going to die there, but we didn't. That's very nice. Yeah, if we were standing right there, though, that would have been it. Is there another chest? Probably. I'm not even going to bother looking for it. That was the treasure chest. It's a cave. Ooh! It goes underneath the birch forest, so that means it's a lush cave. Very nice. We got some iron here. I can't say no to this stuff. Skeleton right here. Get out of here, you. Goodbye. Get lost. You are done. Get out. Goodbye. All these uninvited guests, man. And that's a creeper. I'm getting out. I'm, I'm out. I'm out. Not until after I get the iron, though. Hello there. Holy... <laughs> Did it reveal anything? Nah. And yes, this is still 1.17. These are actually prototype features I used to make it generate like this, so... It's 1.17, see? Glowberries. This'll, this'll actually be helpful. Right here, we take the glowberries, put them in our offhand, we can use Optifine to look around. This is cool, like the Optifine features, especially this one right here, where like the, the dynamic lighting, that should be made an actual vanilla feature. But of course that can't happen, there was a disagreement between Mojang and the developer. How many irons did we get? We got 26. Very nice. That was a successful caving ex expedition. We still need to get some stone now. So I'm gonna take care of that. Yes! Goats! I forgot I made these generate here too. Very nice. And rabbits! And a baby goat! Hello there. Oh, you're ignoring me. Oh, there you are. How you doing? I'm gonna get out of here before your parents ram me. In the island, it has finally ended and that, that over there is a ruin. Very nice. Oh wait, never mind, there's another beach. 
gosh dang it's like the biggest island ever we got a warm ocean here and another island wait never mind this is like this is like a bay almost Oh, ho, ho. let's see if this has anything valuable. Does it? No, it doesn't. Except maybe the call. And no shipwrecks here. Well, I guess we really got lucky earlier. That's like three or four shipwrecks. Oh, ho. big cave, big cave. Noted. All right, this appears to be the end. So where to go from here? And this, this is a ravine. I don't know how I didn't notice that at first. This has some iron in it. That was a horrible jump. And what is this? I think we have a tall birch forest. Yes. Very nice. This is rare. And they, those two are fighting. I forgot to disable mob spawning here, too. I gotta fix that. Hmm. <laughs> Very interesting. Are there any shipwrecks? That I thought that was a shipwreck right there, but that is a ravine. This beach is going to be a very good source of glass in the future. I mean, look at all this. This is insane. Looks like some of the trees have grown, too. That's always nice. Now have my crops grown. Not too much. We do have bones, though, so we can bone meal them. Okay, that's one way to do it. I don't know what happened there, but, um, I did get some potatoes. We never actually saw where this, this treasure map went, so... Yeah, so we gotta head, it's way in that direction, I think. Now we sit here and wait for the potatoes to be done. There we go. Now we throw in our iron, and now we do other things. So I'm thinking this section right over here will be dedicated to potatoes and that other section over there will be dedicated to beetroot and then we'll move carrots down right next to the beetroot. 3,000 years. Alright, so I did a little bit of off-camera work. This is what we have right here. So over here we're farming potatoes. I'm slowly getting the beetroot over here to where it's actually being farmed. And then over here we have carrots. But there is still one more thing we need to do. And that is, go out and find that other shipwreck. Not the first one that was face down, but the other one that was right side up. It probably has the treasure chest exposed to the surface, so we'll actually be able to get it this time. I just don't exactly remember where. It's somewhere off in this direction. I'm just going to keep my eyes peeled. And there it is. Very nice. We might have already been here. We might have already been here. Or have we? No, no. Yeah, we, we don't want are we? Yes! There we go. First emerald, first lapis, first obsidian. I gotta get out of here if I want to survive. But there we go. It's been done. We have 10 obsidian. Not enough to make a portal, but that's progress. And I see another island over there. Very nice. Beautiful. Awesome. I believe this should be another chest. Right over here, yep. Pumpkins, leather cap, mostly useless. But we'll take it anyways. This has been a good episode. This has been a really good episode. What is this? That is nothing. That's a glow squid. There's a ravine here. First glowing sack of the world. Oh, never mind. There we go. There we go. There's the first glowing sack. Now, there is something we should do to the house. You know, just to mark it up as mine. Actually, I just realized 10 obsidian is enough to make a portal, but not exactly this kind of size portal. Not the size of the portal we want. And we still gotta figure out where this treasure is. So we'll get on that. Throw the obsidian in the chest. 
And there we go. Looks absolutely beautiful, but we still need to add the frosting on top. And there's another advancement. Very nice. Now, buried treasure time. We gotta figure out where this goes. Also, the sugarcane farm officially wraps around almost the entire pond right here. Except for this section right here, and that's because of the wheat. But uh, yeah, we have a good sugarcane farm now too. But I'm gonna build a better one later on. It should be over in this direction. Yeah, it's already loading in some terrain. Now, there's a trick you can use to find buried treasure. A lot of people know it, but also a lot of people don't know it. Alright, here we are. I'm gonna turn on chunk borders now. In the chunk, we need to look at these numbers over on the left. And we want what's now 11 and 11 to be 9 and 9. So that should be right about here. You can, it always generates in this spot, just like that. Oh yeah, we got the good stuff. Yeah, we got all that fish. We need some air. I'm going to turn off the chunk borders and the debug screen. There we go, that's how you do it right there. So yeah, we have emeralds before we even have villagers, which is great. We'll be able to just hop right into the village and maybe pick up an iron sword or something. An enchanted one. If we don't already have enchantments, we most likely won't. 19 emeralds, 5 gold, a heart of the sea. We could find some drowned somewhere in like a ruin. Here we are back at the house. Yeah, we are pretty stacked on iron right now. Over a stack now. So there we go. 24 emeralds before a village. That's really good. I'd like to thank you for watching. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. See ya.